break? How does that sort of feel? How do you get the energy up? Yeah, it was good. Good couple of days off. Um, Oh, I think it was just yeah, good. Everyone, everyone needs a break here and there. So I think halfway through the season, um, uh, if we can just keep that same energy that we've been bringing the last couple of weeks, uh, and we just trained just now too, and definitely brought that. So no, it was a good start to the week. Can it be a bit of a hindrance after you've sort of just got on a bit of a roll? Um, oh, yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think um, I think we all needed the break and. Um, I know that obviously the boys put in good work um, the last couple of weeks. So if we can just bring that same energy that we have the last couple, last couple of weeks, I think we'll be sweet. Did you watch Birdo last night? Uh, I did, yeah. How yeah. Did, you, did you just watch it at home? Or did you nah, I watched it at home, yeah, yeah. Nah, he, went, he killed it, unbelievable. Uh, I always knew it was going to be great, which is good. So um, nah, the boys in the group chat were going off, which is good. So um, definitely stoked for him, happy for him. We've um, all seen what he can do on the field, but were there things off the field that made you think he was going to be great in that arena? Um, yeah, I just think he's super professional. It's um, obviously come from a good good background at Penrith as well, so he came through the ranks there. So you can just tell the um, professionalism that he's got off the field, and um, he's always one of those last ones to leave the field and always working on his kicking or whatever he needs to work on. So um, yeah, I knew once he got the opportunity, it was going to be pretty good. What was Ben said in the group chat when he scored that try? Oh, everyone was just throwing in everything. It was it was pretty good. It was just everyone was just so happy for him, and that um, nah, was. Swearing and everything, <laughs> but no, nah, it was good. He was, um, nah, I was just so happy for him. All the boys were just stoked, and uh, yeah, good that they got the win too. What about back here at the Bulldogs for you? What's a big part of bird life for you and, and your career? What's he done to help you bring you on? Uh, yeah, well, obviously he's given me an opportunity, which I'm grateful for. So, um, yeah, obviously the first coach to ever um, to put me in. So, I'm, yeah, obviously, um, obviously pretty, um, pretty happy with that. So, uh, you just. He's definitely just always confident and just knows of my ability that I can bring each week. And um, yeah, so just trusting me, trust me to come on and, and bring energy and, and, and bring that like number 14 utility role. So it's been pretty good. Was there a chance that you didn't think you'd get a crack ever or did it get to that point for you? Yeah, it was. It was it was that I guess COVID was crazy for, for everyone was going away and I didn't go away to, to Queensland to any with when I was at Tigers. So um, yeah, there was probably was a time where I was like, you know, maybe I do not just give it up, but I just thought, you know, maybe just reserve grade or just play the rest of the just try and find, I guess, good money for games and whatever and just try and do that. But um got an opportunity to come to Bulldogs and, and obviously Mick Potter's been great for me. And so did he sort of, right from the start, have a bit of faith in you? I think so, yeah, it was good. We, um, yeah, once he came in, I ended up playing that next week. So, um, yeah, he just sat down and spoke to me and just said, obviously, he liked the way I played and he's always had an eye on me from, it was a funny story, actually. He actually ended up, um, when he was at Mounties, he called me. Um, I, didn't even, I haven't even told him this anyway. He called me um, in December to come and sign at Mounties. So he was, I, it was kind of weird that, I ended up didn't getting back. I, I, we ended up not sort of getting back and forth, and then Bulldogs called me, so I came to the Dogs, and then he came coach here. So it was kind of weird how it worked out. Still got voicemails of him leaving me saying, um, like, you know, interested in you coming to Mountie. So I guess sort of came 360, and yeah, I'm happy that he came to Doggies and got an opportunity. So you must have been stoked then when you heard that he was going to be there. I didn't even think twice about it to be honest with you. And then I, I remember, um, I remember just thinking back. I'm pretty sure like he was going to, well, he wanted to sign me at Mounties. So then I yeah ended up. Um, Ended up going back to my voicemails, and he had a voicemail there saying he wants to sign me at Mountie. So I was just kind of happy that he ended up coming to Dogs. And so now the future, you know, you got plenty of good years ahead. Of you. Do you look at your career differently now, as far as your goals and expectations? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, definitely. I think if I can just continuously play good footy, and I definitely know that. Um, obviously. Um, Jez is obviously leaving, which is a bit unfortunate, but obviously got Reed coming in at hooker as well. So I think, um, yeah, I'm definitely happy to work and play 14 for the rest of my life. I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not too fussed about that. If I can continue to play grade week in week out, I would definitely be happy with that. NRL, couple of wins, you pinch yourself lately? Yeah, it's man, I, I'm crazy how it all works. I just even now, like I've only played a couple of games, so five games now, and I still sit there and think to myself, I'm playing first grade week in and week, week out. So, um, yeah, definitely still pinch myself, but, yeah, try and definitely be um, cool-headed and level-headed. Awesome. Um, Sharks this week, how big an opportunity is this to make a statement? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, they're one of their top teams as well, so they've got a good four-pack, good outside backs, and um, they're yeah, one of the form teams of the comp. So I think if we can go out there and um, put in those performances that we've been putting in the last couple of weeks, I think definitely got a good shot.